And in business, Nigeria's gross domestic product grew by 2.55% year on year in real terms in the fourth quarter of 2019, when compared to the fourth quarter of 2018, which recorded a growth rate of 2.38%. Now, this rep represents an increase of 0.17% point and an increase of 0.27% point when compared to the third quarter of 2019. The strong fourth quarter 2019 growth rate also represented the highest quarterly growth performance since the 2016 recession. Overall, this resulted in annual 2019 real growth rate of 2.27% when compared to 1.91% in 2018. I am now joined live in the studio by Faith Iyoha. She's an economist at the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. Thank you so much, Faith, for joining me. Thank you for having me. All right. Regarding the GDP figures for 2019 fourth quarter, when you saw the figures, uh, what were you able to make out of them? Okay. When I saw the figures, I was excited because it was as forecasted. We said we'll do 2.3%. However, what happened was when I looked at the sector figures, it was an underperformance. Mm. You find only about 18 sectors growing while the other 28 sectors slowing down or contracting. And when you look at the critical sectors highlighted by NESG, which are manufacturing, trade, construction, health and education, professional mm. services, they fell among those that were contracting and slowing. So the figure is a good one but we can do better. Also, when you compare it with the expected forecast, benchmark for budget and the ERGP forecast of 4.5 and 3.5 respectively, this period. it's nothing to compare, compare with. So there's still room for better performance, we can do better. Mm -hmm. So, All right, uh, moving forward now, you did mention the bit of the critical sectors, which definitely are in terms of employment, yeah, yes. employment generating yes. sectors, how, what can we do to address this? Okay, looking at the sectors that are underperforming, we need policy consistency, okay. infrastructural reforms. Um, we also need a lot of capital investment, especially FDI coming from our brothers, capital importation. Looking at the numbers as at 2019, third quarter, the FDI numbers that came showed that the, the capital importation number that came showed that FDI has shrunk from 18% to about 3% of total capital importation. So we need deep rooted policy, deep seated policies to reform the economy to attract capital. So moving forward, let's just talk briefly about the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which we're supposed to start off by July 1st. Do you see this helping stimulate the economy in any way? Okay. It depends. Looking at the current condition in Nigeria with a lot of infrastructural deficiencies and few capital imported or capital coming in are lower than expected, mm -hmm. we do not really see the impact to be positive. But if there is critical reforms, strategy and policy consistency, infrastructure overhauling, we expect it to yield a positive impact on the economy. All right, thank you so much for joining me, Faith. Because of time, this is all we can have. But thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you very much.